Hello everyone, Drudge here, and welcome back to RuneScape video. Now, today I'm actually going to be going back to the different tours. This way we can get these out for people who maybe are interested in playing the game but don't know how to get around quite yet. Alright, so the last one I did of these was of Canf's. Uh, I want to create actually a separate playlist for all of these. But today we're going to go from Lumbridge to Draenor to the Port Serum and then end in Remington. Now I know it sounds like a lot of areas, but they're all kind of small towns. So if you click on your home teleport, you automatically will have the Lumbridge teleport already available to you. Uh, but like I said in the other ones, I highly recommend getting as many of these as you possibly can before you really start exploring around. <clears throat> well, as you explore around. Because uh, it will make things easier for you as time goes on. Now, if you go to Lumbridge, getting to these towns is, well, pretty easy. Because uh, all you have to do here is head north, and then eventually you'll just have to head west. Not quite yet, um, but yeah, there's other things I actually want to start showing you guys. I'm probably going to redo a lot of my RuneScape videos, uh, as far as, like, um certain money-making guides or certain uh, tour guides. There, there's a few things that I wish I would have shown in some videos that I didn't. And that is on me, so I'm just going to try to redo some of these videos for you guys. This way you know it's what. And those of you who will see this video after I've redone them will know what I'm talking about. As long as you follow the road west, there's a few quest areas nearby. Uh, feel free to do them. But right here is actually the start of Draenor. So make sure you get your Draenor Lodestone, which is right there. Uh, directly north of it is actually the Death Office. Now that is for people who can do boss fights. You can have it set up in different ways, but that's actually for boss fights. Uh, it's also combined with Slayer, so do keep that in mind. Uh, it's more for if you start getting into the tie gear where you can actually start bossing. Now if you head north, all the way north to this right here, this is actually the Draenor Mansion. So that's something you'll have to worry about later on for a lot of quests really. But that is actually <clears throat> what's up with that there. But now that's just a holiday event there, that'll disappear. Uh, a little bit further west, there's some more quests, but I'm going to be going further west uh, a little bit here, too, yet. Uh, right here is a field. Now, occasionally, there will be what is called, um, I think it's like goblin warbands or whatever. But, goblin raiders, yeah. Eventually, they sometimes will appear in this wheat field here, but otherwise, there's not too much to worry about. Now, there is a few questing things in here. Uh, but overall, there's not much to Draenor, other than when you, the further you go south, there is a bank. Um, over here, actually, if you go by the bank, this is actually a good spot to pickpocket from a master farmer. Uh, where is he at? There's a master farmer, but oh, okay, here's the master farmer. Because it gives you a left-click option, very easy to get uh, stuff from him. Now, occasionally you'll notice that you can retrieve stuff from Diango. This is Diango. This is where you find them. Now, I don't have much on this account for this, uh, but that's because, well, guess what? This account's like relatively new. But this is Diango. So if you ever need to redeem a code or retrieve any of your uh, specialty holiday items, you can go ahead and do so. And if you want to, you can also trade with them. And he has a few... Uh, fun items, if you will. Uh, but that's about it for this town. But we'll go a little bit further south, because there is one more thing. When you are starting Divination, this is where you start with Divination. Right here, right south of Draenor. And then further south is the Wizard's Tower, right across that bridge. This is really not a dangerous area. The only danger it comes to is if you attack that Black Knight that's wandering around. Now to go on to Port Serum. 
It's not too much further west, but it is a little bit west of this. So, if you want to keep following the road west, you can. If you want to just head straight to the wall, you can too. That's fine. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to follow the road for you guys. I still actually remember where there used to be two uh, knights here with halberds as gatekeepers. Now, this is actually technically Port of Part Serum, and then up here is Part of Falador. It's kind of connected right in here. But right over here is Port Serum. Now, that highway man, he is level 11, so if you are low level, do keep that in mind. He will attack you. Okay, now, as you go through here, there's not actually too much here. I mean, there is a rune shop, which is Betty, uh, which is the first building right over there, the lady with the purple shirt. There is Grum, <clears throat> and there's actually, a, I think, I believe he just sells axes here. Uh, yeah, just axes. So there is an axe shop here. There is a jewelry shop, but the main th reason with the port serum is all the ports, because that's where your player and port is. Uh, over there with the green trim on the boat, that is for the arc, or well, the start of it the eastern land, so it would be the Ark. Uh, right next to that you have the uh, ship for uh, Entrana, which if you do go to Entrana, you can't be carrying any items. Here is the ship to Karamja. So, here you can have items on you, but it goes to Karamja, so that's just how you get to that. I uh, will show more videos dealing with Entrana and Karamja in the future. Uh, right next to that is actually a ship for down the road for a quest called Dragon Slayer. And you get to go slay a dragon. This black ship here is actually for them. And what that is for is... Um, I really cannot think of what it is now. Oh, I'll go talk to him. Uh, it's an outpost, I remember that. We'll go to the outpost. A little bit of a bonus, I guess. Because this area is for a minigame, mostly. Uh, there is, I think, maybe one quest out here. But, yeah, it's for a minigame. Oh, the Void Knight outpost. Yeah, this is the Void Knight outpost. This is actually where there's a couple mini games. As you can see, um, well, actually, if you haven't been around for a little while, they updated the graphics here by a lot. It looks way different than it used to. There's actually weather here. There's actually... It actually looks like it belongs now. Anyway, back to here. If you go just a little bit further south on this very last ship, it's actually a charter ship. Now the charter ship depends on the areas you have unlocked. You can travel to different areas. And each one costs money depending on the distance traveled. So the closer you are, because there's charter ships all over different ports, but the closer you are to certain locations, the cheaper it gets. Uh, south of here is actually the jail and there's a little area right here which is the, um, kind of like a miniature church. Right north of all this is actually the lodestone, so be sure to grab that if you are out this way. And I am suffering from some massive lag right now. I'm not entirely sure why. Let's get rid of this. Maybe that'll help ease it up a little bit. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Usually I don't have this much internet lag with this game. This might end up just being a Port Serum and Jornor video. Alright, yeah, so a little bit more further south. Uh, this is the Ascarnia Dungeon, I believe. This is where the Frost Dragons are. Uh, ice Giants and Ice Warriors. Some Hobgoblins and a few Pirates when you first go down. That area with the tree, that is actually Mudskipper's Point. That is important to remember for eventually down the road when it comes to um, a couple quests. 
right here is actually the smithing master. So whenever you do get your smithing mastery, which is level 99 currently, you can go there and head on and get your cape going. But now as far as Remington goes, it's actually very close. And I'm actually just going to be going almost directly to it. Because you can already see fields going into it. But a little bit north here is actually another spot of interest. This is actually a quest area over here for this side of the cave. Which actually I guess doesn't open up until later until you start the quest. But right here is where you'll find rot worms. And the further you go into it, the bigger the yeah, the bigger they are. There's the grot worms, I think adolescent grot worms, and then just grot worms, and then it's the boss, which is the Queen Black Dragon. But right over here in this field, this area right here, this is actually Remington. Now there's not a whole lot to this spot. Uh, there is a farming patch for bushes. There is a house portal. So you can have your house out this way if you really want to. Just it doesn't show, of course. Uh, but also, the biggest thing for over here is Melzar's Maze and the Chemist. Because the Chemist will actually be involved in a lot of quests down the road. Well, a few at least, but these guys are also be involved. There's also an Elder Tree out here. And as for Melzar's Maze goes, that is just directly north of that, and right there's Melzar's Maze. But you do need a special key to even get into this place. Now up further is more Falador area. So that will be for a different video. But that will do it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Later guys.